Charlie Antony. I'm here with the Charlie in the morning show. Permit me to turn off the air conditioner. Boy, yesterday was a real scorcher. It got almost like 100 degrees. I don't know, 103 degrees here in New Jersey. That was very hot. Steamer. I had to bring in some of the ferns. I was worried about them, that they were going to collapse under the heat. I know many of us are sending letters to the SY Mall. They don't know who else to talk to. We're going to talk about some of these matters. As apprehensive as we are to do so, we're going to talk about them. We're going to try and create a necessary dialogue for this community. I'm going to try and walk a very delicate line. Some are suggesting that if our chief rabbi, Shaul Kassin, is facing criminal conspiracy charges of money laundering, that he should consider stepping down as our chief rabbi. That in case, God forbid, a million times he is convicted on those charges and ends up being sentenced, sentenced to jail time, that we prefer for the sake of the community and the greater good that the rabbi be referred to as the former chief rabbi than the current chief rabbi of our community. These are the kind of emails I'm getting right now. They're coming in as we speak. I happen to notice today, as I look on the front page of the Asbury Park Press, front page, ex-teacher won't go to jail over sex with student. Ex-Marlboro chief denies sex with child. When people are accused of criminal allegations, the first thing they want to do is separate themselves and disassociate themselves from their former associations so that it doesn't reflect on both. Perhaps, perhaps, because who am I to say? I'm just a talk show host reading a lot of emails that are coming into me from people that are frustrated. I also noticed yesterday that I received an email from some second-rate email service putting forth a request from the Cassin family, is the way it was termed, requesting letters for the judge and prosecutor that are discussing the deeds and qualities of the Rabbi Cassin. I couldn't help but notice the second-rate email service would have on the bottom, if you wish to opt into our email service, please click here. Nepotism of the highest caliber over here, of these boys appointing themselves, these grandsons of the rabbi. This is Charlie and Tebby. How can I help you? Joyce, can I call you right back? No, let me just give you a so. I'm back. I'm back. These grandsons of the chief rabbi and other relatives have systematically utilized his position over the course of time to better their own good, with or without his authorization, constantly including the grandson Saul Kasson who wants to be in the email business, and Stephen Sorcher, his cousin. Now, how much further could these boys go than to take a situation where their grandfather is facing criminal charges from the FBI and utilize that to perhaps get another 15, 20 opt-ins on their email list? And we see it again today by Image Magazine. In their mediocre efforts at best at being in the email business, 
They now again are going to roll out that letter in request. Request from the Kassin family. Guess what? If the Kassin family had a legitimate request from this community that they wished to disseminate that request via email, surely they would go to the leading email provider, SY Mall, that's doing it for nine years. Surely. And not assign their grandsons an opportunity to benefit their email lists and further themselves in some substandard effort to be my competitors. I have pointed out the tactics of this Stephen Sorcher in the past, and we're doing it again. Even though he tried to have a few rabbis call me and ask me to ease off. I ease off when the people start shooting straight. That's when I ease off. Before that, I don't ease off. We have something, unfortunately, in this community that is plaguing us to degrees that our ancestors could not have dreamt of. And we call that Mafia Aib. Unfortunately, too many people walking around, they're scared of nothing, they're embarrassed of nothing, they're ashamed of nothing. There's no limits, no boundaries, and no standards for certain people. I'm Charlie Antony. I wish everybody well. I thank you for tuning into my show. And God willing, this community is going to turn around and reemerge as a community of greatness like we once were, and not an embarrassment on a global level like we are now.